Man, oh, Mandalorian is the Mandalorian good. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. And uh, three episodes in, and I'm not seeing any signs of anything that would uh, give me any cause for uh, concern. Uh, there's nothing there that uh, is ruining it or pushing me out of the story or anything like that. And uh, still, the strength of it is in, its, in the simplicity of it and uh, the basic adventure story that this is, uh, but also the depth of it. We're seeing the birth of a hero here. He's, uh, he's this nasty bounty hunter, uh, but he has a heart of gold. Yes, when he finds out he has to bring in a little child. Uh, boy, this is one thing he just can't do uh, in this nasty criminal world that he operates in. And you've seen this in other stories and movies, like the uh, assassin who turns to the good side for whatever reason, and usually something because he just can't bring himself to harm a true innocent. And uh, this is certainly the case for uh, Mandalorian that uh, Carl Weathers refers to as Mando. So, I mean, is that the actual name, or is that just his nickname for him? Because he doesn't know <laughs> what his name is. Um, but we get some interesting... Uh, tidbits here. More uh, flashbacks to what appears to be Mandalorian uh, or Mando's uh, childhood. And we see uh, what happened to what appears to be his parents, I assume. Uh, and that it goes back to the Clone Wars, where the droid army was attacking uh, this uh, village or what have you where he uh, lived. And uh, there it is. Uh, you see the droid. And so that's how uh, far back this goes and that's uh, where he lost his family uh, we hear little insights here and there where they refer to the empire as uh, crap and their enemy and whatnot which is interesting I wonder how that would play with uh, Boba Fett who uh, for the most part works for, for uh, criminals like the Jabba the Hutt but he also did work for Darth Vader and so uh, was he uh, in trouble with the tribe I don't know but there's also the incidents where uh, he, he's he's about to get an award or for, from his for his uh, for his chieftain or chiefess I should say, and he turns it down because he says, well, it wasn't an honorable kill because of, with the creature he killed last episode, because uh, he's, he says my enemy helped me. <laughs> why would your enemy help you? And why is he referring to the baby Yoda as his enemy? Well, uh, I I'm not up on this, but I as I understand it. Some of the old Republic uh, stories uh, that there was supposed to have been this war between the Mandalorians and the Jedi. And uh, uh, I'm thinking the Mandalorians lost and lost bad. <laughs> so uh, they refer to themselves as being few in number and having to, to hide and all and stuff like that and live in secret and whatnot. And they're trying to maintain this culture of theirs where they never take off their helmets and all this sort of thing. And. Um, so maybe that's why he referred to the baby Yoda because he sees evidence of the force which means he has some idea of what this is uh, and so that might be why he says oh you know, it's a little baby Jedi or something you know and that's what he's seeing that as uh, so maybe that's what it is and some of that will, will come into the uh, the background of the story uh, the main story would be what happens with him now that he's chosen this course and so he goes off on quite the tangent here because <laughs> he just can't bring himself uh, to be cold hearted when it concerns his child so he brings this baby to essentially our Nazis on the run you know <laughs> it's like their Odessa or what have you you know the Nazi war criminals who uh, ran and made new identities and hid out in South America and all this sort of stuff well that's basically what you got here for these former imperial officers and whatnot. And what's the deal with Baby Yoda? What is this about? Of course, that's the mystery uh, that we'll probably get, hopefully, uh, get some details uh, in the show uh, about what that was about. And I, with references to the Clone Wars, and is this not just Baby Yoda? Is it really is Baby Yoda as in a clone of Yoda? And this is why he's so valuable, and they're, they want this because of the powers, you know, or something along those lines. 
Uh, who knows? But we're you know, and hopefully it will be spelled out. Don't just leave it to. Gee, I wonder what that was. Well, our audience interpretation, that kind of crap. Now you you got to pay that off. Uh, so interesting tidbits, and of course, uh, you know, a look at the Mandalorian tribal customs and whatnot, and all of that. And, uh, and of course, uh, well, uh, he decides to save the child, of course. And uh, as he does this, well, this breaks the code of the guild. And I would have thought it broke the code for uh, the tribe. But well, when he's cornered, he, he gets the child. And this is all great stuff. The, the whole thing, he takes on the stormtroopers and defeats them. Uh, and uh, ultimately using his, his Iron Man tick, <laughs> which was one of the... Uh, you know, awards that he won from the tribe um, based on his success in the mission. And he uh, travels on uh, and tries to escape with the job, but then here comes the guild saying, oh, no, 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 you don't. And he fights them off and he's doing pretty good, but then they outnumber him. And so he's looking at the child and saying, well, listen, buddy, I tried. And he figures this is it. And then suddenly the other Mandalorians show up and uh, slaughter <laughs> the bounty hunters for the most part, and he makes good his escape. They show up doing their rocketeer move that Boba Fett had done, uh, and, and he there's a line from Mandalorian just doesn't have a jetpack, and he says I need to get one of those. I kind of wondered if that's something you have to earn, and he just hasn't yet, but um, I don't know. But, you know, it's the interesting thing was that he, his payment was these, you know, th this latinum, <laughs> these slabs of metal uh, that had imperial markings on them. It's kind of like Nazi gold, you know. And uh, so that's his payment. And he goes and what, uh, he goes to his chief just, and so she melts it down to make more armor for him and all this stuff. And so I'm like, well, geez, he can't uh, spend it on anything. <laughs> so he did all this to get a shiny new suit. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately he goes back to Carl Weathers and uh, he sends him on another job uh, with, uh, you know, one of Akbar's people. <laughs> and but then, you know, I guess he's not even going to do the job because, well, who would pay him? And so he uh, he saves the baby instead. And so that's how it ends uh, and with that, with some great uh, action scenes and all this stuff. Very tight and concise and to the point, but also the depth of character here and of course this is a another means by which you have a, a hero's journey and here you have a guy who's an unlikely hero but he reaches a moment where he i can't do this and he's gonna save this child and so there you are and boy where will this go well we'll just have to see because for the most part like i said the simplicity of it was one of its strengths uh you still think well he's gonna do the job he's probably not gonna you know he's probably gonna save the kid you kind of know but now well who is the kid where does it go and what are all the connections and whatnot so there's a there's a bit of a mystery uh building here for uh mandalorian so great stuff it's just so strange to be complimenting a star wars a new star wars story <laughs> when so much has been so bad and as he continues to do this because i said in a lot of ways uh mandalorian benefits ironically from the failure of the star wars uh a, a sequel trilogy and so it makes it look better than it ordinarily would have but no there's some real talent here and there's some real uh, uh possibilities of this standing on its own which it pretty much has to at this point and I don't know that it can save what Star Wars could have been, but it might build a new Star Wars uh, that the sequel trilogy just never could and never will because it's dead on arrival at this point. So, yeah, The Mandalorian is still pretty good. I mean, oh, the, the title was The Sin. So I'd have to assume The Sin was breaking the code of the bounty hunter, uh, you know, guild. And uh, that's what he did. Because I would have thought that this would have been a violation. Maybe it is. Maybe there's some sort of penalty he's going to have to do because of what he put the Mandalorian tribe into because they had to come and defend him. Um, and that puts him in a bad spot because now all of them are out of work <laughs> you know, from whatever this uh, bounty hunter uh, uh, occupation that they were enjoying there. Uh, so 
uh, what, what I guess the, they'll follow that up, perhaps, or perhaps I'm just mistaken, and that wasn't a violation of their 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 code, you know. So I guess we'll see. But anyway, once again, another episode. Let's hope there's no stumbles along the way, because that would just be so very sad. But a much needed shot in the arm for Star Wars, and so far so good with the Mandalorian. Thank you for watching and listening. Say, while you're here, you might as well like and subscribe. And check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores that have plenty of goodies for you. But also, another link down there will take you to my BitChute channel. Boy, there seem to be some more clouds forming around YouTube. And uh, a little channel like mine could just get wiped out. Uh, overnight, just as I'm starting to get some amount of interest from people, and I do appreciate you uh, coming in and watching my videos and uh, subscribing and all that. But I don't know; it might not last. <laughs> it might all be over pretty quick. Uh, I'm not completely up on the particulars and whatnot, but it, it it's looking pretty bad. So. Uh, check out BitChute, uh, and, uh, and uh, I'll still be there if that might be my only home. <laughs> I don't know. But all my videos, uh, uh, when I think of it, <laughs> do get posted there. So check, out, check me out on uh, BitChute. So there you go. Till next time, bye-bye.